This is a lesson over the skeletal and muscular systems. In order to um, really understand this, first we need to go over some of the learning targets. There are three total learning targets. The first one is that you can identify the function of the skeletal and muscular systems. In order to do this, you need to be able to know what it means to identify something, which just means that you are able to point it out, give it a name, um, and you also need to know what the function of something is. And the function of something is like a job or how it works. You also need to know what the skeletal system is and what the muscular system is. Um, we'll get into that a little bit further in the lesson. Skeletal muscle is made up of bones um, and the skeleton. And the muscular system is made up of muscles and um, things that go along with the muscles. The next learning target is that you can list the parts of the skeletal and muscular system. Um, in order to do this, you need to know what it means to list something. Um, so listing is putting something in order or grouping them. It's usually uh, not sentences. And parts are pieces of a whole. We've already talked about skeletal, skeletal and muscular system. The final learning target is that you can explain how the different body systems uh, interact. And so the skeletal system is considered a body system as well as the muscular system. That's also considered a body system. Um, in order to explain something, you're going into detail or you're elaborating. Um, and interactions is how things work together or how they uh, work with each other. Okay, let's get started. So skeletal, the function of the skeletal system. There are three of them. The first one is that the uh, skeletal system acts as a framework for your body, so it supports your body and it shapes, gives shape to your body. Uh, the second function is that it protects organs, so for example, your ribs uh, protect your lungs. And the final function is that it makes blood cells, so blood cells are actually created uh, inside your bones. Let's move on to the muscular system. This has two functions. Uh, pretty obvious. The first one is that uh, the muscular system helps you move. And the second one is very similar to the first one. Not only does it help you move, but it helps things inside you move. We'll get uh, more into detail in the digestive system. That's a really good example of some muscular um, organs that help you move or help things inside you move. Another example uh, is the heart. So the heart is a muscle um, and it's related to the respiratory and circulatory system but it helps pump blood around your body. So it helps things inside you move. Let's go through some parts. Um, skeletal parts. So we start off with the skeleton and the skeleton is made up of bones and cartilage. Um, and cartilage is a hard yet flexible tissue and it's usually placed in between uh, bones. Then you have ligaments, and so ligaments are also tissue, but these tissues hold the bones of joints together. Um, so you could see the long strand of ligaments that are holding the two bones of the, of the knee joint together. Muscular system has a few more parts. Uh, there are three different types of muscles. The first type is a uh, skeletal muscle, and this is the type of muscle that um, is voluntary, so uh, it's controlled by nerves. A lot of times you think about this type of movement, and skeletal muscles contract to move bones. Um, tendons are also part of the muscular system, and they connect skeletal muscle to bone. Here are the three types of muscles, cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, and smooth muscle. So you can compare those three types of muscle. The cardiac muscle, you'll only find it in the heart. So cardiac um, is another name for anything related to the heart. This, keeps, this muscle keeps your heart pumping all the time. Obviously, it's involuntary. We don't think about our heart beating. We can go to sleep and our heart will still beat. <clears throat> smooth muscles. These are found in the walls of organs. So you can see in the picture there's um, a stomach. 
and that stomach shows that there are smooth muscle cells within the walls of that organ. And so this is uh, also involuntary. We don't think about our stomach churning to help break down the food. And we'll get more into the stomach during the digestive system. So those are the, the three types of muscles. This is just a review um, of the function and parts. So the skeletal system functions are to support and shape our body. They also protect our organs and they make blood for our body. So that's the function of the skeletal system. The function of the muscular system is to help you and the things inside you move. So it's all about movement, both you and uh, your organs moving. The parts of the skeletal system, very simple, bones, cartilage, and ligaments. Parts of the muscular system, skeletal muscle, tendons, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Okay, let's go into some interactions. Um, so we're going to talk about interactions between the skeletal muscular system and the respiratory circulatory system. How do they interact with each other? So taking in oxygen and transporting the oxygen to the cells are jobs of the respiratory and circulatory system. The diaphragm, which is a muscle, a large muscle, helps pull the oxygen into the lungs and pushes the carbon dioxide out. So here's the connection between the muscular system and the respiratory system. Uh, as mentioned earlier, the heart is a muscle, and this muscle pumps blood around the body, um, and this is part of the circulatory system. Bones, they help protect our internal organs. So uh, ribs, you know, which are part of the skeletal system, they protect things like hearts, uh, the heart and lungs, which are part of our circulatory and respiratory system. And finally, uh, bones work with muscles, and so they provide a framework for the muscles, and then the muscles um, allow you to move. This was a lesson over the skeletal and muscular system, and it was compared to the respiratory and circulatory system.